Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we are going to do another unboxing from Ranger Detail Technologies. Uh, I just received this in the mail this afternoon. I haven't opened it yet. Wanted to wait, open it on camera here with you guys. Uh, I believe this is one of Tim's mini pumper bodies. That's the company I just retired from. So I really don't know what's in here, so we're gonna have a look at this together. Everything comes nicely packaged. Let's get this out of here. Let's see what we got. Again, here is the checklist for the items to build this. Very nice. Rear light pod castings, grab bar, tail light lenses for mini pumper. There we go. We got radio, siren, mics, and speaker. There we go. And then, so let's continue on with this. Pump panel parts, assortment for mini pumper. Little pins for gauges, for handles, whatnot. License plate backing material. Very nice. Some scribed uh, evergreen styrene siding. Some more prescribed uh, looks like door panels with uh, with some prescribed circles here cut out for the uh, for the little round slam lock that you buy from Don Mills. Those may be included in here. I'm not real sure. Instructions on CD and USB stick. So that's what we have right here. Got a little USB stick that you can set, plug it in your computer, and build away. That's very nice. Very good job. This gives a uh, a brief description on what to do, how to do it. Again, more. Uh, more handle, handling instructions. Tim really provides a really nice, uh, really nice kit. Lots of details. I hope all this is showing up because I'm got the camera kind of up high. What do we have here? Looks like some uh, some bags, air pack covers, and search lantern. Very nice. See the little lantern right there. Hinge wire. Chrome pump panel trim surrounds and logo base for the cabinet work. Cross leg roller stock, rear cabinet doors, monitor standpipe. Very nice. Again, some sanding blocks, sanding stick. And then here we go round slam locks by Don Mills. 
Same ones I buy on eBay. Very nice. And here we got some, uh, we've got some more styrene pieces. Everything you need to build a mini pumper body. Some tread plate. Uh, gauge decals for the pump panel. More evergreen styrene shape. I like how he did uh, the light black wash in here. It's uh, a lot easier to read than what was on the Engine 51 pieces. So good job on that, Tim. More evergreen. And looks like we got one more piece here. The foundation, which is the, the sides of it. Underside top plate. Lower foundation plate. Very nice. Now probably sticking this all back in is not going to be such an easy task. <clears throat> Bear with me one second here. Okay back real quick I just wanted to my mirrors are coming off of this one but this is uh, what is known as a mini pumper this is one that that I scratch built uh, last year just out of uh, I used a monogram uh, I believe it was monogram might have been a the AMT Dodge pickup truck kit and then I scratch built the entire rear end of it using parts from the AMT pumper truck. So this this uh, kit that you get from Ranger is going to be of similar design. It is designed to go on a pickup truck uh, frame. So that's that's all you would need to complete this kit some some type of pickup truck you could use any any pickup truck you wanted but I wanted to uh, put on here these are some of the uh, the Facebook pages that I uh, I admin on Building scale model rigs and fire apparatus one-on-one. -on -one. Scale model fire and rescue apparatus. Classic fire and rescue apparatus. And then this is my Facebook page where I uh, I put photographs and actually sell all of my uh, all of my custom lights that I make. And then. I will I will post a lot of uh, photographs on there of of my builds and progress and things like that. And then of course Tim's Facebook page, Ranger Detail Technologies. Please go visit that, like, uh, make some comments on there. These uh these are really highly detailed kits. You're not going to find these anywhere else. Again, I, I don't know the price of this, but Tim, Tim offers the uh, Engine 51 kit, this mini pumper kit, and he also has the uh, body kit for the uh, Squad 51, which, is, which would be the back, the back end. You, you would have to buy the, the uh, Dodge cab kit from a from the pickup but his his kit comes with the correct grill um, all the pieces for the body within similar design as all this and as I mentioned before Tim Tim used to do the uh, model I think it was called the model firehouse and scale auto years ago before that uh, column switched over to light commercial that was that was 
done by Terry Jesse for a number of years. Uh, so he does really good work, and I strongly suggest you guys get on there if you're interested in this type of build anyway, or if you want something to, looks like, might actually challenge your building skills a little bit, because I certainly think it, it's going to challenge mine, but I'm open for the task. The reason why I never built the Engine 51 was when I received it, I, I was still uh, gainfully employed, and I kind of felt like that build was, was going to uh, involve quite a lot of time and quite a lot of effort and concentration in order to build it correctly. And the way my work schedule was, I just did not have the time to devote to that then, but I do now. I think, anyway. I hope. We'll see. But, thank you, Tim. Uh, I hope i done a decent review for you. I'm kind of new at this, but, again, a nice, nice little kit. It, it will be a great addition to uh, anybody's collection of uh, model fire apparatus no no matter what scale you usually tend to build in i know i'm i'm involved in on facebook with a, a lot of guys that that do the 164 scale stuff and the 150 scale die cast but you know, it's it's all relative it, it, it's all model building uh so that's that's what we need to do so please go uh, check out his page. Check out those uh, other groups that, that I admin on. A lot of nice models on there for you guys to check out. And hopefully uh, we can uh, start building either on, on, on this one or the Engine 51 soon. As soon as I get my builds in, in order. So thanks for watching, guys.